What's going on guys, T Blake here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a video talking about high-end sneakers. So when it comes to high-end sneakers, two things usually come to mind. Um, very quality materials and then huge brand recognition. I have really been against uh, high-end sneakers for a couple different reasons. For one, there are typically really great alternatives that use similar materials minus the branding that are way cheaper. Um, I'm showing off a pair of Balenciagas today. Filling pieces are a great introductory sneaker at a definitely lower cost. Um, I think the materials are comparable. This uses all lambskin. It's a little bit different than what the filling pieces use. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're definitely paying more for the brand name. So for this reason, a brand new pair of Balenciagas at $545 or $600 was definitely out of my price range. Even if I liked the sneaker, I'd have a hard time buying it. And more importantly, because I'm going to be wearing it, I'd really look into the used or secondhand market. Luckily, last time I was in New York City, I walked into a consignment store and sitting eye level were five different pairs of Balenciagas. Each pair was listed at $250. Now, I know a little bit about Balenciagas because I've had my eyes on them for a long time. And I noticed that they still had the red on red arena. And I know for a fact that that colorway sold out and has an aftermarket, so at $250, I just grabbed them and went. The good news is they were in great condition. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the packaging, the sneaker, and then we'll get them on feet. They came with the original box, Balenciaga, white box. On the side, it's marked um, from two different retailers, and you can see here, and then the sticker there is from the consignment store that I picked them up at. And here are the sneakers themselves. Let me show them a little bit close up. Okay, so here is the Balenciaga Arena. It's a mid-top sneaker. Some people might say high top. If you're used to mid-top sneakers, this is going to be a similar fit for you. The entire upper has sort of a distressed or wrinkled lambskin. It's very, very uh, comfortable on foot. I've worn these with and without socks. Some people might have mixed up feelings on that. Um, but you definitely will notice a step up in materials. Um, if you've been copying Jordan retros and you're used to that leather, um, this leather just will blow it out of the water. So if you ever get a chance just to have a pair in hand and try them out, um, definitely recommend doing so. One of the things that uh, I guess I do or don't like about this is it has the maroon outsole and the outsole is just like a very hard um, vulcanized rubber. And then you have the bottom which is that same sort of maroon color. One of the most pronounced details on this is the lace lock and then these large silver ringed eyelets um, that work their way up all the way to the top zigzagging across are red on red laces and then you have this very very plush tongue um, in leather interior. So guys that's going to do it for the review of the Balenciaga Arena. I'm going to lace them up, get them on feet. Let me know your thoughts on high-end sneakers. Like I said, I would never have purchased this if it wasn't for a discount. I actually had a ton of people offering me way over what I paid for these. Um, but at $250, that's like the same amount of money that some people spend on like elite basketball sneakers. Um, and to add a really nice designer sneaker to my wardrobe, um, I think it was a good move for me. And I've had my eye on these for a while. Um, ever since uh, One Veracity, my, one of my close friends, David, had a couple pairs, um, I always was interested, so I was really, really happy to be able to get them uh, for under retail. 